Family from Pinellas Park is searching for answers. They say a driver has yet to be found after a reported hit and run crash nearly one month ago. It happened on State Road 64 near 172nd Street East in Bradenton. And right now, a father is still recovering from his injuries. And Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio spoke with his family, now struggling to recover. So this is um, me and Chad. For Amber Craven, it was a love story that began in high school. This is on um, one of our date nights. Amber and Chad are now married with two kids. He makes me feel special even on days that I couldn't I couldn't find the strength in me to feel happy. Their bond stronger this last month after she says Chad nearly died. One action changed so many people's lives. Chad drove his motorcycle down a rural road in Bradenton on June 1st, but loved ones say as this truck driver made a left turn, Chad hit the trailer behind it. It put Chad in the hospital for weeks. Listen as nearby surveillance captured the crash from afar. I mean, it's, it's hard to listen to because you can actually hear him. George Hannon, Amber's brother, rushed over. This was one of the videos right here. He gathered evidence from neighbors. Chad told the family he saw the truck driver make a U-turn after the crash, roll down the window, and still drive off. He left a human being lying in the middle of the road with not a care in the world. It's a shame to see people be that heartless. I think that was senior wrong. Amber says she wouldn't wish her husband's pain on anyone. We were like friends for the longest time. She'll be there for Chad in every way just like he was for her, when Amber says she suffered from a spinal cord injury years ago, leaving her in a wheelchair. At the end of the day, the only thing we can do is just move forward and not dwell on the things we cannot change. The past can't be changed, but the family says a confession would help them heal in the future. The person should be held accountable. It's going to be a long road, but I believe that Chad will overcome this. I know he will. In Pinellas Park, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. The Florida Highway Patrol says they are continuing to investigate. The family has a GoFundMe set up for medical bills. If you would like to help out and we'd like some details about that crash, we have a link on our website at 10tampabay.com.